And through my career, I was able to travel not all around the world, but mainly in uh, Europe, let's say in Eurasia, but mainly uh, Europe, Central Asia, Eastern Europe, the Middle East, uh, Africa, North Africa. And uh, gradually as well, I realized that what you can learn in the books is not wrong, but it's not always maybe accurate, or it's not always reflecting the complexity of the world. And uh, so I was more and more curious, you know, to uh, study and to investigate even on crises, conflicts, how diplomacy is practiced. Um, and gradually I realized as well that it was good to combine the micro level, what you see in the field, and as well the macro level, what you can read in books or the big trends. And through teaching, through as well working in public administration, in international organizations, uh, as well in embassies and so on, um, I started to see these different levels or different perspectives that could be combined. And it's when then I was uh, started to be more, sorry, interested by uh, geopolitics. And now geopolitics is more uh, trendy. It's more common. It's more commonly used in French and English. You have a lot of channels on geopolitics and books. And uh, the thing maybe as well, with regard to my interest for uh, geopolitical analysis and why now as well geopolitics are more uh, known, it's because of the changing world in which we are. You know, the rise of the BRICS, uh, political instabilities in Europe, in the Middle East, conflicts, crises, but it's not new, but it seems to be more acute, or it seems as well that it's not what the post-Cold War uh, world promised us. So that's, let's say, in a nutshell, the, the things that... Uh, shaped my interest for geopolitics, international relations and uh, diplomacy.